it's a good time to be in the market for a new truck, not long after the refreshed 2018 Ford F-150 became the 2018 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. The 2018 Detroit Auto Show hosted the debuts of the new 2019 Ram 1500 and 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. But what made this year's Detroit show so entertaining to cover from the auto show floor were the surprises beyond the expected truck debuts. From a concept with an interior design described by one editor as pure fantasy to an asymmetrical hot hatch variant tuned on the Nürburgring, keep reading to see all our favorites. Lexus LF1 Limitless Concept Akio Toyota needs positive market reaction to this concept before hitting the go button for production. Consider us among those saying, go. This evolution of the SUV shape into something more akin to a tall wagon makes all those flagship SUV coupes look dowdy. Sure, the spindle grille is over the top, but the exterior design is crisp and flowing all at once. Oh, and please keep the split spoiler off the back of the roof. Cool. Mark reached in. Nissan's Motion Concept With tighter budgets, many concepts these days end up looking all too practical and production feasible. Not this motion. It features a real cedar wood structure in the dash and a full-length center structure that smells heavenly but would explode into zillions of toothpicks and splinters in a crash. Crazy perforated wood shoulder supports and the seats look hideously uncomfortable but unspeakably cool. Shiro Nakamura might have retired as Nissan's design boss, but you could see this as a pian to his early days when he was at Isuzu cranking out a stream of VE Cross concepts. This survivalist's fantasy is equal parts Xterra and Range Rover Revealer. The dashboard wide infotainment screen panel looks ready for Lt. Pavel Chekhov to take command. 2019 Ram 1500 In the battle of the trucks, I took a hard look at the Ram 1500 and Silverado 1500. New packaging solutions, I have to go with the Ram as the truck of the 2018 show. Ram's exterior design team managed quite a tricky feat by making the new 1500 look more modern and sophisticated yet still masculine and ready for business. And then there is the interior, stylish, but not overstyled, and simply oozing with tech. The 12.0-inch vertical screen looks straight out of a Tesla, and thus more flashy and tech-focused than Silverado. 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Although we saw it in Texas about a month ago, Chevy hadn't revealed the entire lineup of the Silverado. The Detroit Auto Show was the place for that, and the Bowtie brand surprised us with eight different trims that go from a work truck to a sportier RST to the top trim high country. Its wide design, improvements in aerodynamics, and bigger cabin space have current Silverado owners excited about the new truck. Ride quality has improved, and that's something we're looking forward to when we drive it later this year. Infinity Q Inspiration Concept This is a design study and I like where Infinity is going. In a world of in-your-face grills, this tasteful, inverted face built around the three-dimensional logo is a welcome breath of elegant air. Designers also managed to make a short hood elegant with dramatic vents. 
the huge four-passenger interior is clean and simple with innovative flares such as how the wood and leather on the door meld into one artistic piece. Some crazy threads in the door pockets act as sensors to turn on a light, and a Burt dash has built-in backlit controls. 2019 Ford Edge Street Props to Ford for introducing this performance-focused edge that's due this summer and available in Performance Blue. The Ford Performance team took the all-new edge and added horsepower to the 2.7-liter V6 EcoBoost engine, taking it to 335 horsepower and 380 pounds to foot of torque with a new 8-speed automatic and paddles to go manual. It's sport mode on the rotary dial e shifter to change the throttle response and shift patterns, and open up that exhaust note. 2019 Hyundai Veloster N It's an asymmetrical three-door hatchback that was developed by the former head of BMW's M division, tuned on the Nürburgring, and will be sold alongside more practical Hyundais like the Sonata and the Tucson. Sure, it's weird, but it's also one of the most interesting vehicles to go on sale in the US in a long time. It's also a safe bet that the Veloster N will be a blast to drive. There were some really cool cars at the show this year, but this one is definitely the coolest. 2019 Ford Ranger Excuses aside about how long it took Ford to bring the Ranger back to North America, I am just glad it will be on sale again later this year. There is a market for a Super Cobb or Super Crew pickup that is easier than a full sizer to drive and park, fits in your driveway, and costs less to buy and fill up. The North American styling of the Ranger sold in other markets is about what we expected, a nice combo of World Truck and Big Brother F-150 elements. Steel body and frame as well as terrain management and off-road capability round out the package. The only engine offered is the second generation 2.3 liter twin scroll turbocharged four cylinder engine with a forged steel crankshaft and a new 10 speed automatic transmission. 2019 Volkswagen Jetta The thing that has me very excited about the Jetta is the switch to the MQB platform. The Golf won 2015 Motor Trends Car of the Year when it made its debut on the same platform, and I have high hopes that the Jetta will improve its ride quality, NBH, and performance. Interior space is something that new buyers will be very happy about, and the addition of Volkswagen Digital Cockpit is something we're looking forward to. Of course. The compact sedan segment is extremely competitive, but VW is looking to gain a bigger piece of the pie of what it currently has. Aramco slash its powered Ford F-150 I've written multiple future tech features covering oddball better mousetrap engines, almost none of which ever amounts to anything. So it is with great joy that I can finally point to one that has been rendered functional and installed in an actual pickup truck. The claims made by Akats Power for its 2.7-liter three-cylinder, opposed piston, gasoline compression ignition engine are impressive, 270 horsepower, 480 pounds to foot, and 37 mile per gallon combined city-slash-highway fuel economy. Wow! Last year we reported one manufacturer had committed to produce it. Keep an eye on this radical engine rethink. 2019 Mercedes-Benz G-Class There's nothing harder than updating an icon, respecting heritage while advancing both the look and the tech, but Benz has pulled it off. 
the G-Wagon still looks and sounds like the G-Wagon, but it's roomier, techier, and according to Benz, somehow even more capable. It's longer, but the breakover angle has improved, and it boards deeper water. It's wider and has a longer wheelbase, but you can't tell unless you park an old one next to it. The interior is thoroughly modern, but you still have to slam the doors, and they still have the loudest locks in the world. We'll miss the eccentricities, from the sloppy steering to the total lack of elbow room, but there's no arguing it isn't a better all-around vehicle.